For those that are new to the concept of network attributes, I wanted to provide a quick overview of what these are, how they are created and assigned, and how these benefit trace analytics when working with a trace network. If you have worked with network weights in the past, the concept has been carried over into the trace network with network attributes. Network attributes are derived from feature attributes to control traversability and model the cost of tracing paths in the network. These perform many of the same functions as network weights in the geometric network to model the cost of traversing a feature. Additionally, network attributes can be used to constrain traversability in the network and filter trace results. These are stored in the network topology, which removes the need to query items from the map's feature space and improves performance during trace events. Here I am working with the data from the National Hydrography dataset. Currently, my only network attribute is the default one based on the shape link field that was created when the trace network was originally created. This particular dataset uses a geographic coordinate system. While perfectly fine for most tasks, this angular unit of measurement is not very intuitive, and this makes the shape link field less than ideal for use modeling distances across the network edges. I'm going to create a new network attribute based on the length km field here, which provides the length of features in kilometers to provide a more intuitive network attribute to model the cost or distance within my network. To do this, we first need to create a network attribute in the trace network using the add network attribute tool, making sure to match the attribute type and nullable constraints of the target attribute field. I'll then assign this to the field using the set network attribute tool and enable the network topology. With my network topology enabled, I can use the network attribute for much more than modeling a cost along a path. For example, the network attribute can serve as a function barrier, which will stop the trace when a set condition has been met. In this example, I want the trace to stop after traversing at least 10 kilometers along each path. I'm using the local values option here to consider each stream path independently of the others. I could also set up a function. A function is a trace configuration that allows you to run calculations on traced features using associated network attributes. In this example, I want the sum of the total distance traced. Here you can see the trace results, which stop after traveling 10 kilometers down each path encountered upstream, and the sum of the total distance traveled by the trace. This is just a basic example to display some of the ways that network attributes can be used beyond serving as a simple weight. Additionally, I could use the network attribute as a condition barrier to stop the trace if a stream segment smaller than a certain distance was encountered, or filter the result set using an output condition to trace the entire network upstream from my starting point and return only features that exceeded two kilometers in the result set. I hope this has helped answer some of the questions you may have had regarding network attributes in the trace network. Log on to GeoNet and review the help documentation for more information and examples. Thanks.